How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be predicting the entire July monthly award program in MLB The Show 21. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This brand new player of the month program will be released tomorrow, Thursday, August 5th around 12 p.m. Pacific time. So around noon in the middle of the day I will be at work but I wanted to talk about who I think we're going to get for this monthly award program and we have seen nine players for the last one from June. We've seen a couple really good players and an advancement in overall. So I can expect to see a 98 to 99 overall player for the July monthly award, as well as uh, multiple, potentially eight higher overall diamonds in the 90s range. Okay, so the first player that I'm going to predict in no specific order is Jameson Talion. And I think that this card will be all right. He doesn't have the meta pitches that we are looking for if they give him a sinker then he'll be a little bit better i don't think they will um, but this card might be usable if you have a budget team if you just recently got the game this card might be effective for you right now for at least a little while fran mil reyes had a pretty good month of july he actually hit nine home runs in 20 games batted 309 i think that this is a pretty safe selection uh, he didn't play as many games as other people but he did well in the month of July. I'm not exactly sure why he didn't play as many games. Maybe he got hurt. Um, but looking at his stats, he did he did extremely well. Had 22 RBIs. That's kind of right around what some of these other players have as well. I think we could potentially see a Freddie Freeman. I know he didn't have as good of a month as a couple of these other players, but he doesn't have an upgraded diamond. I think we might see you know a curveball thrown in there. I think we might get a Freddie Freeman card. I don't think it will be you know the monthly award or the lightning player. Uh, I don't think it will be like this 99 overall finest card, but I think he deserves um, an upgraded card. If he doesn't get one for this monthly award program, then he will probably get one in a different way eventually throughout the year. If I were to replace this prediction, I might replace him with Reese Hoskins. I think we could also see a Reese Hoskins. I did not predict him in this video, but just looking at these July stats, I mean, Freddie Freeman hit 375, six home runs, three doubles. Reese Hoskins hit 310 six home runs, 11 doubles, and had a higher OPS, um, but I'm not really sure. I think A.J. Pollock could get an upgrade. We also have another player from the Dodgers in Chris Taylor, who had a pretty good July, but he just recently got an all-star game card, so I don't think they would go with one of those players. Another player you might think of is Ozzy Albies. I'm pretty sure he won a July Player of the Week award. Uh, he also got an all-star game card. That's why he's not in this one, but I think Walker Buehler could end up getting a upgraded pitching version. I think this card would be the better pitcher of the two so far in Jameson Talion. This card has uh, a better pitch mix to fit the meta of MLB The Show 21. Uh, Walker Buehler has been pretty good in previous years as well. Had an amazing postseason card in last year's game that you're able to unlock for free. Once again, I don't think he'll be the lightning player. I don't think he'll be a 99 overall, uh, but we have had three consecutive position players for the monthly award program so maybe eventually we'll get a pitcher uh walker Buehler pitched extremely well i'm pretty sure he went three and oh uh with like one six era and and just dominated um with that being said i still think we have a, a better lightning player to select but honestly if they went with any of these players i wouldn't i wouldn't really mind this is a free program it's a free card you can earn all the players by grinding you know the tops now moments missions completing the second half of the program once the July monthly awards is released. Earning all these free players, I think, has some potential to be uh, pretty rewarding. And Raziel Iglesias, he might get upgraded to a diamond uh, with this next roster update. He had a great month as a reliever, racked up a bunch of saves, also had a couple decisions in terms of uh, you know winning the game or losing the game. He did record a couple wins. As a reliever, you don't necessarily see that as often. I don't think that MLB The Show developers really put too much emphasis on the win stat anyway. They're more focused on you know advanced analytics and ERA, stuff like that. Anyway, if Juan Soto did not have this home run derby card, I might be predicting him for the lightning player. But I think we're going to get a juiced 99 overall first baseman, Joey Votto. And when I'm thinking about 99 overall Joey Votto, when I'm thinking about this potential selection, the first thing that pops into my head is the finest Joey Votto from MLB The Show 17. And these were when attributes did not max out at 125, right? Attributes capped out at 99. And if you keep that in mind, if you scale this card up 
to those 125 thresholds, I mean, he would have 123 contact versus right. He would have 119 power versus right and left. He would uh, potentially have, you know, 105 contact against left. Obviously, those scales are not exactly accurate, um, but that would be an incredible card with like 115 vision. Obviously, we won't get the same card, right? That's a finest version of Joey Votto based on the entire year. Um, this is more based on the entire month. But I think that we could see a very similar Joey Votto to that 99 overall finest card that we had a couple years ago. Uh, but with the most recent flash sale, I was investing in the big collection. And I ended up losing some stubs with the most recent flash sale. But I made those stubs back investing in players. Now, I took these screenshots at different points in time during the flash sale. But as you can see, I've invested all my stubs. I only have 1.1K left. I purchased 19 Shohei Otanis for right around 10K stubs a piece. And then I purchased 28 Xander Bogarts cards for a little bit less than the 7,000 sell now or the 7,300 buy now that they're currently going for at the time I took the screenshot. Okay, I also purchased uh, more than 22 Liam Hendricks cards. I actually purchased 26 of them uh, as I sold a couple additional players and invested in more of these uh, home run derby all-star game cards i know that we are going to get more of those packs later on this month with the daily moments but i know that those cards are going to fluctuate in price i was able to double up my stubs i went from you know i had a million stubs with all those cards i was collecting for the big collection i didn't really sell any of those cards i still have all of them and i was able to make back 825,000, 826,000 stubs uh, if you take away the 1.1K that I already had in the inventory, then it is a pretty solid investment. I was able to respond uh, with the market crash, with the flash sale going on. I was able to help myself out and make those stubs back. But this is the current squad that we're rocking with. I honestly don't know if uh, we do get a 99 overall Joey Votto, if he would actually make the team. But I would probably try that card out. Of course, I'd have to collect all the Tops Now players in order to get them. I haven't done any of the missions from last month. And I honestly don't know if I will have time to do those missions. So I might just end up buying the players off the market. This time around, though, I didn't buy them in advance like I did for the Kyle Schwarber. I just think that Kyle Schwarber might have the most value out of those Player of the Month cards that we've seen that I'm also predicting. Um, but I, I also think there's definitely a position or a place for Joey Votto on a lot of teams. So I think that that would be a great selection. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm College Lefty. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and peace out.